Hello guys, welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Today I'm bringing you... Well, the first replay is in the Talon again. Uh, yeah, well, I've just been having great games in this thing. So, uh, yeah, I've got some more replays to uh, show you. Uh, this is actually the last one. Uh, the rest of the uh, replays today will be in different tanks. Um, but, you know, um, this is Profirovka. There is artillery, I believe believe we are mid-tier in this thing uh in this particular game uh so we're going to go up to this ridge line this ridge line here has got cover from both uh the right side um and i can get shots across if i need to across the right hand side but um it's mainly to support the uh the hill basically you can get shots across on the hill uh, if they cross or they poke too much on that hill we can get shots into their side uh, and obviously like i said this thing has got a great alpha um so we're gonna put try to put that to use and hit hit their um you know obviously try to get a shot into that and didn't quite pull it off uh, but that's a light tank taken care of the enemy team, which gives us a big advantage in this game. Uh, but that being said, our light tank has now just gone yellowed straight into the other side of the map. Uh, for some very odd reason, it's like, oh, the other light tank's dead. Now let's kill ourselves as well um, to give the enemy a fighting chance. There we go. That is a very light tank, uh, a very light TD. We're going to get try to get shots across in this guy. Um Unfortunately, we had to move, so our uh, reticule got a lot bigger, but it still managed to hit. As you can see, 409 damage in a uh, tier 7 medium. Uh, this guy keeps getting spotted. He must have a very poor crew, because this thing's got great camo. Um, and we smacked a shell into him there. Uh, he's got to be feeling a bit bad about that. This mutts is a... Uh, just sitting there for some reason we managed to pen another big shot into him and uh track him so hit that's a tracking shot uh makes us 666 assisted um and the enemy team is just kind of camping at the moment seems to be uh see if we can get a side shot into the uh uh the uh, e4 is it um yeah t26 e4 um this gets taken out which is good because he was in a good position to stay camping we didn't fully aim that that was unfortunate it could have taken a couple of seconds longer um uh, before he pulled back but we're gonna just wait for him because we really want to get a shot into him uh he didn't put poke as much as i would have liked uh so we didn't get a shot into that it looks like he's gonna not poke any higher than that at the moment um so it's a bit unfortunate our team is just camping at the one two line really kind of unfortunate at this point we uh we do have the advantage we don't want to be uh we actually spot up the black prince at the back managed to put a nice shell into him damaged his um, engine that's not what you want uh, and he's just getting pummeled right now hopefully we get another shot into him before he goes and we managed to put him out of the game um, that means we got almost 2,000 of our own damage um, almost a thousand and a half assisted unfortunately moves just at the last second uh, but we're going to get a bit confident here. We're going to push a little bit higher here. Um, so our team does not want to be doing that. He stops uh, and then moves again into the line of our shell. We still haven't finished that guy off. He's been very lucky when it comes to that. And our team is just running away with it now. So I've got all the hit points, right? So that's going to push up a little bit more. Um... This guy gets spotted. Gets tracked just at the right time. Uh, and we spot someone up. I'm not sure who we spot up there. Um, but we got side shots into this guy. So we're going to take him out. Unfortunately we bounce that shot. We get targeted by someone. 
And I'll show what here it is. Try to fully aim that, but well, it's not going to happen. And unfortunately, we are getting spotted by a dreadnought. He's just got eyes for us, and he hits our tracks, which is great because we don't take any damage. We actually managed to put that shield in, even though we went unspotted. Uh, and there's only three guys left, so we got four and a half thousand damage here, uh, and it just keeps going up. Two tanks left. Um, if we can. We're not the fastest, but we might be able to spot them up and get assisted here and even get a shot off before the game ends. Um, but unfortunately, uh, one tank gets taken out unspotted, which is unfortunate. Um, so there he is, the panther there. And we put them out, so we get three kills. Um, and almost three and a half thousand, com uh, three and a half thousand direct damage and one and a half thousand uh assisted yeah very good very good tank uh not even a f mastery uh either so like i said people are having amazing games in this thing uh it's a shame not to get to mastery but that's that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes uh and i'll see you in the next match guys And now we are in another, even a lo more lower tier tank, the tier 6, which is the T-34-85M. Um, it's basically the tier, the T-34-85, but better. Uh, again, another premium that's better than its uh, tech tree variant. So uh, why would you go out in the tech tree tank when you can go out in the premium? Uh, yeah, no, sometimes people do joke that it's, this game is actually should be called world of premiums because they're just better than their tech tree variants uh which i can definitely see i do go oh i don't mind using my tiger too and it's just like well why not just use my king tiger i'm gonna get make more money uh and it's a pretty damn good tank and you know and the same with this thing luckily he stops just in time for us to manage to land a shot in him uh we're just getting it we're just straight off the bat we're just firing constantly and putting shells into the enemy um just unfortunately missed that when he ducks down just in time to dodge my shot uh didn't quite fully aim that one either um but we're getting loads of shots off right now this guy is out in the open he's just getting pummeled uh and we finish him off getting our first kill and in a tier 6, we have got a 1,000 damage in a matter of seconds. Now, I'm usually on the enemy. T I'm usually on the other team. It's usually me that's just gone into a game and, like, half my team's dead already. Uh, so I can I can fully understand how annoying it is for some people on, on the other team right now. Uh, can try to get a peek a shot into that guy, but not quite pulling it off. Um... And this is a problem. The, the enemy's team is just camping. Their light tank's taken out already. They're just not... Um, just We just got the a huge advantage right now. Waiting for him to crest enough so we can get a shot into his side. I wasn't going to risk getting just hitting his... Just hit, hitting his turrets. Uh, you know, we could miss that. That guy, yeah, poked far too much. This guy, oh, just pulled back for his armor to be angled enough to bounce that shot um but we got one and a half thousand damage here uh and a kill that's pretty damn good for a tier six um and we are waiting to see anybody getting spotted up here um now this guy's we're gonna just turn around and see if we can see anything from this angle um the teams that are now equaled out um and unfortunately, the shots have dried up a bit. The light tank is pushing again. Unfortunately, we didn't want to actually go for that far back. Uh, and then this guy pushes as well. I'm not sure why. Managed to put a shell into him and set him on fire. And put another shell into this guy. He's almost... I don't know, suicidal at this point. He just just pushing for pushing sake. Um, I wouldn't be doing that without support and the a full set of hit points. 
Uh, but there you go. There's free artillery in the game as well, so this is why we're kind of camping. Uh, I don't like to do that, but um, like I said, three artillery in the game. I could be taken out pretty damn quickly if all three target me. Um, we're just waiting for this guy to push, right? I think he's going for the artillery. Uh, there he is. We have gotten spotted and targeted, so we're just going to swing around. We don't want to get hit by RT. Uh, two of the enemy tanks have been lit up, three in fact, uh, so we're going to just ignore that guy in the back there. We're just kind of trying to get an angle on this thing. Put a nice shell into that guy, but unfortunately he is a medium, so he's probably going to outspot us. We ain't got a particularly good crew in this tank. Uh, I think we've got three crew skills. We're trying to keep this uh, KV-2 tracked. Uh, not happening. Um, now, I would like if I if that medium wasn't there, I would be pushing right now, uh, trying to get into um, a better position because we got the support right now. We are definitely winning this game. Um, I mean, at the moment we're definitely winning, but it could it could change. Uh, it can change pretty quickly. Um, I don't know. That's the thing, it's like, yes, I might have nine tanks, but I don't know what health they are all on. Uh, they could all be on very little health and be taken out in one shot. This guy is trying to... Just manages to get out of that with us with, uh, surviving. Uh, we take that shot, but it, it didn't get into that guy. He's on full health, unfortunately. Now there's only two artillery left. Might as well take that speculative shot. The Italian tank gets taken out, so we now push. We want to try to get some uh, damaging shots in before the end of the game. Because we've got all our hit points right now. Uh, we're having almost almost hit 3,000 combined at this point. Uh, so we're having a very good game uh, for a tier 6. Um, so we're going to just push up. We want to just be careful. Obviously, we don't want to be taken out by artillery which could still happen at this point um, we haven't got too much support to be honest that light tank there uh, a TD is pushing up uh, heavy on the hill and a couple of artilleries now I'm poking far too much actually more than I wanted to because uh, that guy is looking at me the artillery is looking at me over here and we actually put a shell into him unfortunately he doesn't kill him uh, he gets taken care of. This guy is just suiciding. Fair enough. And there we go. We've got three and a half combined thousand uh, damage and three kills with it. Th yeah, three kills. So we're getting top of the team by quite a bit. Um, as you'll see in the results page. And we get first class, high caliber, arsonist. Yeah. By quite a bit there. Right, next game's already started with the LT-432, the uh, Tier 8 Russian light tank. Um, we're on the airfield, which just came back into the map. Um, now, that's another thing we've got to talk about, really, um, is the maps. Um, we, what, we're two years in to... Um, just over two years into uh, update 6.0 which reset everything uh, and we still haven't got all the maps back uh, I can think of at least three uh, map, uh, maps that we haven't got back yet that's not including the one that's coming back this, this week um, which is uh, Marshes I think it's called uh, now this is not going to be fun. This this guy here in front of me is going to be a total idiot. Um, you know how light tank players can be. I'm a, I'm a light tank, obviously, so I can't say much. But um, look, put a lovely shot into him, and he's like, right, I am just going for this guy no matter what. He misses that shot. We poke. We miss that shot. And he's like, right, I'm just going to go for you now. 
And he rams us. And he f misses that last shot, luckily. And I'm from very little health here. It's very unfortunate. Uh, and that's the beginning of the game. This guy basically ruins my game. I say ruins my game, clearly doesn't, because I am showing you this replay. But um, it's not great. Honestly, this game isn't that, that great. Um, but I get a first class out of it, so um, I thought I'd show you anyway. Um, obviously, Russian tank, really bad gun depression on this thing. It's not got a very flat turret. Uh, it's quite, it's nice and fast. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's, it's not my favourite light tank. Even, not even my favourite Russian premium light tank. Um, but it's not bad. Um, you can have some great games in it. It's very stealthy. Um, I ain't got, again, haven't got the best crew on it. I'm training a new crew in, a, in this thing. Um... I think it's got four crew skills, which isn't too bad, to be fair. I've definitely got worse. And as you can see, the enemy team's just absolutely folding. I'm trying to get a shot in this uh, grill, uh, and I t do. He had very little health, but I took out a tier 10 uh, with a tier 8 tank, so that's good. So we're going to just... We're going to take a risk here. We're just going to push. We ain't got many hit points. Uh, the game should be ours. We're going to try to get in behind uh, the majority of the enemy team. Try to get shots into the back. But, you know, because obviously these are tier 10s and 9s here. I'm going to struggle to pen them from the front. So let's get in behind. Let's try to pen them from behind. Uh, obviously, my XP is going to get a lot higher. Um, hitting tier 9s and 10s. Uh, so that's another reason. Uh, we spotted that tortoise at the back. Uh, again, I don't know why he's been sitting at the back of the map. Not really helping his team, but there you go. We're going to go for the artillery. Uh, he doesn't know we're coming. Uh, because yeah, I haven't been spotted. And there he is. But obviously... Yay! Of course. Um... Of course, it's the auto-loading French. And of course, no matter what I do, I've got to put like 20 shots into this guy to finish him off because, you know, the recent update gives him so much health. Which is nice sometimes when you can actually guarantee you're going to kill the guy, but... I put another shot into... So as you can see, we've got about two and a half... <laughs> Two and a half thousand, so nothing great, but uh, we came second, and we got three kills, and got first class out of that. So, you know, nothing to be ashamed of, that's for sure. Alright, uh, this is the last replay. Uh, it's in a T-52 uh, light tank. Uh, we are got two artilleries at uh, three artilleries on each team uh but that's not such a bad thing we are in a light tank we're gonna dodge incoming shells quite easily and obviously we're gonna spot up and get some assisted uh from ours so that's fine um We're not going to have uh, a very particularly good start to this game. We don't really do too much. Again, um, this light tank is a little bit derpy. It's not. Uh, it's kind of just use it for um, having a bit of fun, not taking the game too seriously in this kind of tank. Um, but obviously, you know, if we can get a win, that's a bonus, right? We're always going to try to get go for a win. Uh, we're going to just try to spot up. Looks like our team is going to lose by camping uh, at this point. No one's, no one's, no one's pushing. And a tier seven, so we're not top tier. Uh, IS has been taken out, so that's great as well. No one's getting spotted up. Uh, an absolution there, and we are 
not even going to be able to pen. We have premium rounds and we get spotted up. That's not what we want. Uh, get a tiny bit of assisted there. And the yep, solution is taken care, out, care of. Um, but we are two tanks down. We're still spotted, uh, which is kind of annoying. So we're just going to keep moving. We have a very high chance of tipping this tank over. I haven't got the skill to make my tank uh, right itself uh, that much quicker. But um, so we've got to got to be careful. And a lot of those guys are coming via the. the um, That's a light tank we want to take care of, really. Once the light tank's taken care of, we're going to have a better time of it. So at the moment, we're not doing much. We are spotting up, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're just not getting much assisted for it, to be honest. 700 assisted damage. You know, nothing special. And now we're finally getting to spot up and actually getting some assisted. Um, and our team is just continuing the just sitting and camping which is kind of unfortunate uh, we've got a couple of guys who are pushing but unfortunately they're just going to get swamped at this point uh, we're just trying to get our own damage now we have finally got our uh, own bit of damage there now this guy is pushing now I'm thinking right he's gonna be isolated here yes he's gonna probably face hug this guy and probably beat him um, but we can come in and help them and he has come in and pushed uh, their team is definitely gonna win this by the looks of things um, we do so such little damage um, Trying to free aim that one. He looks at us slightly, but he's just got carried on going for that guy. No point in trying to go for his frontal armor. Reload very quickly. There we go. First kill of the game. Just got over a thousand damage combined. Uh, this TD looks like he really wants a piece of me. Uh, so we're going to try to. That's what I've got to get some kills under our belt if we want to try to pull this back. Uh, this guy is here, so he's going to have trouble turning. We have to unfortunately put a lot of shells into this guy. He does the right thing and changes his course. Unfortunately, he misses his shot. I wasn't expecting me to pass in front of him so quite so quickly. Um, we're just yeah wailing on him right now. So great. Uh, this guy had it in for me. Uh, it turns his attention at the worst possible time. But um, there's an O. What are we looking at? Look. Uh ho ho. Yeah, one shot from that guy. We're probably going to die. We're going to go into the open field. It's just me and one guy left. Um, yeah, not great. We're trying to get unspotted. We have a light tank here. So what? The only thing I can really do is try to stay out of their view range. And pepper them with shots. Try to take them down. Um, now this guy's telling me to go and cap. But it's just not going to happen, mate. They're going to get back in time to take me off we're gonna keep him locked on concentrate on where we're going pen a nice shot into him bounce of course we're getting targeted by artillery almost tip the tank almost get unspotted again that's what we want we're gonna try to put some distance between me and that uh, medium medium is the most dangerous thing in the game for me because he's got pretty good view range he's a tier 7 I'm only a tier 6 and we're trying to take out this artillery and we do and we get a third kill and another artillery in the game dodge the oncoming fire 
this <laughs> this teeth this um I'll try to take out this guy and I actually do not realize that the enemy is now sitting on the cap uh, trying to take out this artillery to be honest uh, just for a bit of uh, glory uh, rather than attempting to win the game the two on the cap now I don't realize that the banshee or the comet it's penned me twice now, so I'm just trying to get... And it kills bounces. Killing shot bounces. Put that artillery down to one shot. And then we're going to con concentrate on this uh, Comet slash Banshee. Um, we put on premium rounds. We want to make sure every shot counts. Uh, it's th at this point, I still don't realise they're on the cap. Um gonna try to go in on that but then I realize that actually they've capped us out so real shame there about 3,000 combined on a losing game we came on the leaderboard on a losing game so not bad anyway hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did subscribe and like the video and I'll uh, catch you in the next one bye guys